PPP and <laughs> what do we think it means and its significance? Because we kind of want to talk about this. This is kind of uh, a theme in the sense of we got PPP, we got the dude in the boots. Uh, those are the kind of the, the biggest mysteries that were left unsolved in the front half of season 7B. So I had some thoughts on PPP. Um, I don't know. It, you know, I like to PPP every once in a while as well. You know, once you well, have, especially after you have <laughs> two of these. Yeah, I am PPP. floating. <laughs> I am floating here. Then you're PPP in a lot, right? <laughs> well, no, I mean I'd like to, but <laughs> we're on camera. Mm. Yeah, you can't PPP while we're on mm -mm. camera, Mama. Mm -mm. That would be a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> so, um, and hey, that might get some likes on our channel. Yeah, Mom, he's on channel. <laughs> Yeah, that's gross. That's, that's disgusting. That's You're disgusting. Like a, a oh my god! Another like level mm. of, of nastiness. Yeah. Please, yeah. Um, okay. So, do you have any thoughts on on PPP? I have no thoughts on PPP. Let's hear yours. Okay. So my my thoughts are this. Uh, there was a there was a scene during the Oceanside episode whenever Tara is you know trying to not get killed by this group of women that she comes up upon and we meet they the don't characters. shoot straight at her <laughs> yeah Oops. they'd have the worst some of the worst <laughs> aim uh since the the stormtroopers in star wars that's for sure uh but she meets cindy and there's a scene in that episode where cindy is in her room and we even talked about this in one of our uh top five things you may have missed where we talked about the clock that was in her mm -hmm. room i believe and the time that it was displaying well there was another part in that scene where she's looking through maps and she's she's like going through the maps and she's like crossing stuff off she's circling things and to me this ties into and th this is totally my theory my you know crazy asinine theory on on ppp and how it ties into cindy is we see in that episode that uh that heath gets either taken away or he has to run away but Tara comes up upon that PPP card. Mm -hmm. And it's a key card that gets you in some door. So my thoughts are that PPP stands for Potomac Power Plant. Because there is a, an actual Potomac Power Plant that is located <laughs> in the part of Virginia that they are in as we speak. And it's actually, I think, rather close to where negan and the saviors are in virginia so i feel like i don't think heat's coming back anytime soon i don't think he's gonna be back in season <laughs> 7b he's over gotta, 24 in it didn't we see him though in the trailer i don't recall seeing him in the trailer at all for the back half of season 7b okay. no, i don't i don't yeah. recall seeing maybe there's a new trailer that i haven't seen out but mm, i don't think so so this ain't going to happen anytime soon, folks, I don't mm -hmm. think. But I do think that the Oceanside community is going to come back into place, specifically Cindy. I think that she's a character that we all liked. I thought she was she, mm -hmm. she would, would have been a nice addition to the group. But I think what ultimately may happen is that some of those spots that she was circling on the maps and whatnot is that Potomac power plant. And I mm -hmm. think that Heath got taken to that power plant as it's maybe one of the Savior's additional compounds, similar to what Rick and them raided in season six. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's how Cindy and Oceanside is going to come back into play. Not Maybe not in the back half of season 7B. Maybe. you know, Could, could very well happen. I know there's been some articles about how they're going to weave in Oceanside with Rick. I think that was one of the articles that was talking about Rick Grimes in the Oceanside community. And I'm like, what? They, they, they haven't interacted at all. Mm -hmm. So... I thought it was it was kind of interesting how she was looking at those maps and that he found or well Tara found that card that had the PPP yeah. um, and that there is a Potomac power plant which is three P's so it would definitely uh, you know stand to reason that PPP it, it, could mean Potomac power plant. It could work. It could work, and I think Cindy is going to save Heath's ass from the Saviors and bring him back in season eight. When kill. 24 Legacy gets canceled. <laughs> yeah, I've heard some rather uh, not so great reviews of that show. So yeah, you know, hey, I'm proud of the dude that he got a, yeah. a, a new show and everything. And I don't think it's going to hurt him too much if it gets canceled because he's in like a boatload of movies and whatnot. And he's got The Walking Dead to fall back on. So 
Not it's a, a good life for back. him. Yeah, good yeah. life for it's him. Life. Yeah, no, I think that's a good theory too. And I mean, it, it, I would think uh, if you could take over a power plant, that'd be an awesome place to live too. It would be um, because when you go to the bathroom, you would have electricity in the bathroom. So you exactly. would have running water. Well, I, the running water, I'm not as worried about. I just want to be able to play video games. That's true, yes. I need my electricity. <laughs> yeah, we do need our electricity to play those video <laughs> games. So um, that's my thoughts on the PPP. Uh, the boots, I so wanted that to be Dwight. I wanted the boots to be Dwight, and you know, because he's obviously he hates the crap out of Negan. Uh, there's no doubt about that, that he's just like, bitch, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to make my move. My you mother. are boning my hot wife. Yes, yeah. Yeah. You're going to get it one of these days. He doesn't days. even care. He's like, I, yeah, you melted my face. Yeah. I don't care. You're boning my hot wife. Yeah. That's the part that hurts. So That's just not cool, man. You just don't bone another dude's hot <laughs> wife, especially not right in front of his face, unless he asks yeah. for it. You know, If he asks for it, that's different. Yeah, yeah, I think you have to pay extra for that, though. <laughs> you might have to pay extra for that. Um, <laughs> but I, I think this, this is one of those ones where I was a little bit annoyed with other... Uh, other prediction videos out there on these boots predictions because so many people just straight up spoiled it who it was because they had read the spoiling dead fans and they knew exactly who the boots belonged to but they played it off like who's these boots belong to oh I know exactly who they belong to. Oh, yeah, I because cheated. I'm so smart. Yeah. I'm I figured this shit out. Yeah, super annoying. Um, mm -hmm. I'll just say I'm not going to get into who, who it is because I don't think our uh, listeners of the podcast and a lot of our uh, people that watch us on YouTube, I don't think they follow those, those spoilers quite as closely. I'll just say that I'm disappointed that more than likely it ain't going to be Dwight. So I am disappointed yeah. in that. I didn't think it was Dwight. I mean, I I can't at this point remember who I I'd have to look through my pages and pages of notes. Yeah. Uh, but but I have avoided spoilers. Good I, for you. I'm real. I'm pretty good at that. Good it's called for you. Hiding from the internet. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> I, I wish I would have hi like hidden from the internet on this one because yeah, I think I know exactly what's going to happen because some asshole said uh, in his YouTube video description that. He was going to talk about who's in these boots, and then oh. he just like proceeded to tell exactly who those boots belong to. In his video description. Yeah. Yeah. This nice. Is, this is what I'm right mm -hmm. there, right there, asshole. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. I'm, gl I'm, I'm glad you got those hundreds of thousands of views for that, Duke. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, <laughs> moving on.